Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to cover how to front squat, and more specifically, the rack position of the front squat. There are a lot of ways to perform the front squat without having to get into the dreaded front rack position. You can cross your arms, you can use straps, you can use specialty bars, you can do them without your arms, or better yet, just do front squats with the bar on your back. That's my favorite way of doing them. All of these front squat variations are just band-aids that cover up your inability to front squat. Now I'm not here to give anyone a hard time about it, but they are not fixing your problem, they are just allowing you to perform a front loaded squat variation. And for most people, that's good enough. But if you want to get better at performing the movement the way it was intended, or you want to improve your Olympic lifts, I would suggest you work on improving your front rack position. In this video, I will show you some drills that will improve your ability to maintain a solid rack position for the front squat. Most people blame their inability to hold the front rack position on tight wrists. I don't think your wrists are the limiting factor. You see, in a good front rack position, with your elbows high, there shouldn't be a lot of stress on the wrists. The demand for hypermobile wrist flexibility isn't really there. But in a crappy front rack position with elbows down, the wrists are under a lot of stress. So a lack of wrist flexibility is usually not the reason for a poor front rack position, but a poor front rack position is the reason for wrist pain. The root cause of a poor front rack position does not start at the wrists, not the elbows, and not the shoulders. It's your upper back, your T-spine. A round upper back will lead to dropped elbows. When front squatting, don't focus so much on your wrists and elbows. Think about what your upper back is doing. Extend your upper back as hard as you can and this will automatically bring your elbows up, which will take some stress off your wrists and throat. For some of you, this is easier said than done, so let's take it a few stretches and drills that will improve your posture as well as your ability to extend your upper back. The following drills increase in difficulty, level 1 being the easiest, level 4 being the most difficult. You can do all of them if you like, or you can choose to just do one or two of them. This next stretch is one of my favorites. I didn't make it up, I saw Alexi Tarakti doing it. Place some weight on the bar. 135 pounds is good. If you have to lighten the weight, don't go lower than 95 pounds. You need some weight on the bar for this stretch. Using a pair of wrist straps, secure your hands to the barbell just like you were going to deadlift. Now grab the barbell with a full grip, drive your elbows forward, extend your upper back and unrack the bar. Hold this position for 30 seconds to 1 minute. Rack it, rest and do another set. For some of you, this will be so miserable that when you remove the straps and lighten your grip on the barbell, it'll feel like a walk in the park. Let's take a few steps back and I'll talk a bit more about setting up for the front squat. Place your hands on the barbell, just outside of shoulder width. Too narrow will make it difficult to extend your upper back. Too wide might place excess strain on your shoulders, elbows, and wrists. You have to realize that in the front rack position, your hands are not supporting the weight of the barbell. Your shoulders and torso are. 
A common mistake I often see is people pulling their shoulders back during a front squat. This is the opposite of what you want to do. You have to push your shoulders forward and slightly up to create a shelf for the barbell, which should be in contact with your throat and nestled comfortably behind your big boulder shoulder peaks. Flare your lats and make yourself wide like a bodybuilder would on stage. If you're not using wrist straps, lighten your grip and let the barbell roll into your fingers. That's it everyone. To recap, ensure you are extending your upper back as much as possible. Think big chest and lead with the chest as you stand up out of the bottom of the front squat. Refer to the stretches and drills listed in this video as often as you like. Over time, the front squat will feel more and more comfortable. Thanks for watching and always remember, tread on time!